Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this recessed mount RV dinette table. This is a, a double leg dinette table that will either replace a previous RV table or add a table to your RV's dining area so your friends and family can gather around, share meals or play board games, that sort of thing on those rainy days when you can't get outside. Uh, this is a recessed mount, so if I take the table off here, you can see when we remove the table, these brackets in the floor are going to be installed in the floor, so we're not gonna to have to worry about tripping over them like we would uh, with brackets that stick up uh, off the floor. So it's gonna create more floor space for us, for entertaining friends, that sort of thing. We wanna have more room to freely move around, and that's going to provide lots of opportunity for us there. Put this back on so we can see how this is gonna fit in place. Very simple to uh, take off and put back in place. Uh, these do come in three different laminate finishes to complement your existing decor. So you can see the one that I have here is the cherry option. Uh, it's also available in maple and white. You can see all three options on the screen there. Uh, so both the maple and the cherry are gonna have that uh, wood grain. Your maple is a little bit more of a tan yellowish kind of a color, your cherry is more of a uh, kind of an orange color, a little bit uh, darker wood tones, but you can see that wood grain design and that rich color in this finish here. Underneath that laminate, uh, there is going to be an ultra strong high density EPS foam core. So it is very solid and durable yet lightweight enough that we can easily take it off, move it around and put it back in place. Uh, so. Having that foam core is going to make it a very convenient tabletop to remove so that we can uh, make up our extra bed or uh, make space for our friends and that sort of thing. On the uh, edge here, we do have this edge banding that reinforces the table sides and seals moisture out. So it's going to help prevent the table top from peeling, cracking, or warping. Uh, you do have a choice. You can either, either have the black trim like we have here for a nice high contrast look, or we also have color matching options uh, so that you have a little bit more closely coordinated appearance. You can see uh, those side by side on the screen there. So you have your choice there. And then we also have five different sizes for each of those options. Uh, the uh, you want to make sure you're getting the one that's going to work with your space in your RV. Uh, so the one that I have here is 42 inches long by 30 inches wide. All of our tabletops are uh, 30 inches wide, but we do have different lengths for you from 36 inches up to 44 inches in length. So you make sure that you're getting the right one and that's going to fit in place if you are making your extra bed or uh, just fits your uh, RV dining area all together. So this table will stand on the two steel legs. These are uh, two inches in diameter. Uh, so they are gonna be very sturdy for you. It's gonna provide about 26 and a half inches of clearance from the bottom of the table to the floor. Uh, if I stand next to it, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm about 6'3", so you can kind of see where this is going to uh, come up on me. If I were sitting here, it does provide a little bit of room there, not a whole lot, uh, but still enough for me to scoot in and sit in and enjoy breakfast and that sort of thing. And we do also have these tables available in a single leg option. So uh, just whichever option works best for your setup. If you have a single leg, I would recommend uh, replacing it with a single leg for you. If I take this off here, you can see that our legs are going to be attached uh, with brackets on the bottom of the table, as well as the ones that are on the floor. The brackets are about six and five sixteenths of an inch in diameter. I've got an extra one here so you can kind of see what th this will look like. And you can see it is gonna stick down into your floor quite a bit. Uh, so it is going to require a two and a half inch diameter cutout for this to fit in place. And uh, you are going to, uh, we do also have the uh, surface mount options available. If you don't want to worry about uh, having a hole in your floor to get this mounted, if you're worried about uh, hitting a runner or something underneath there, 
uh, just depending on your setup, we do have those surface mounts available. Those are gonna stick up, so they are a little bit more of a tripping hazard, but the benefit is you will get about two inches of extra height and clearance for your table because you're not gonna be going down into the hole. They're gonna be sitting right about on the surface. Uh, so you will get a little bit more clearance with that other option, but if you do want that uh, uh, flush look, this is gonna be the way to go for you so that you don't have to worry about uh, that tripping hazard. <clears throat> Very simple to get these installed. They do include the, the screws to get these drilled in place for you. Uh, simple installation on the floor there, as long as you uh, know what's underneath your floor and can have that hole cut out. And then on our table itself, very simple, uh, mount these in place. Uh, you can see we do have these three stickers here uh, that are going to be a uh, suggested mounting place for you. Uh, but there is an internal 26 gauge galvanized steel screw plate uh, that is going to be in the center of the table. So no matter uh, what size table you have, that screw plate is 30 inches long by 10 inches wide, and it is centered on the table. So that's where you want to screw in. So if uh, your original leg doesn't line up with what we have here, as long as you're within that uh, screw plate, you can mount it wherever is gonna be most convenient for you. You can see we do have some screw holes in this one. They do not come pre-drilled. Uh, that, that's just the remnants from some of the other videos and photos that we've been doing on these tables. Uh, we don't recommend that you pre-drill your holes. Just use the included screws to drill right into the bottom of the table. That's gonna give you the best, uh, most solid hold there. So having that screw plate is gonna make sure that your screws have something solid to grab hold of and ensure a steady attachment so you don't have to worry about them coming loose in that foam construction. That screw plate is there to uh, give it a nice solid hold. So if you are looking to either upgrade your RV's dinette table, or if you're uh, wanting to add a table into your RV, uh, this is gonna be a great way to go. Like I said, we do have lots of different options to uh, match your space, the color, uh, your trim preference, the size, single leg, double leg, lots of different options available for you. So make sure you're getting the right one for you. And that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.